Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. That's Deb Chanel's For This World along with her family. A YouTube family as co-host. All right, let's get on into it. We're gonna be talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta, season fourteen, episode fifteen. Let me see what was it called? Not Michelle Obama. Okay, that's what they titled it, and I just broke them up into all different sections of each individual. Okay, so that's how we going with it. And I, one of my YouTube family members said that my microphone looked like a penis y'all <laughs> and i got different colors of this foam uh protector that you put over the mic and uh she had i guess watched one of my videos and it just tickled her paint and she thought she would let me know and i'm like baby yes i know and when i put the brown one on him it really looks like one so that was funny. I thought that was a little chuckle. I tell y'all, always be tripping me out. Y'all always be tripping me out. <sighs> and when I found it just really, really uh, <laughs> funny, I'll come back on the show and tell y'all about it. But I'm not gonna tell you her name. I'm not gonna tell you her name because we all need to just trip out sometime and laugh. Laughter is good for the soul. Okay. So hopefully y'all had a very good work week, or if you're retired. Um, hopefully you spent the day productively if you weren't doing anything that's still productively in my book when you retire because you can do anything you feel like you can take about 14 15 16 17 18 naps a day it doesn't matter because I the, the naps uh, when you get a chance to take one during the week or on the weekend they're uh, they're more energizing than your regular sleep it's like you can just have a power power nap and get up and change the world you know what I'm saying all right so that was my greetings to you all. Now, let's go on into this uh, particular episode, all right? We're going to start with Drew. I made some notes on Drew. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, she was, when they was at the dinner table, when Aaron called himself jumping up, talking about, don't fuck with my wife and all this stuff. And I'm going to say, if you don't sit your 5 or $2 ass down, okay, control your anger, control yourself, or get the hell off the screen. Just just say you got to, you know, you got to go for a minute because, you know, everybody's upsetting you. And it's a shame that you find, it, we found it to be that women upset you. I'm like, <laughs> God, that's why I see why son you don't want to have no baby by you. Because just like you tried to jump on Kenya and, and Sheree, but mostly Kenya, uh, you probably do the same shit to Sonya. And Sonya, if he's doing that, girl, get seek counseling. And if he don't straighten up and fly right, bounce. Bounce. Because I enjoyed your little I fit um presentation you was doing. You the camera love you, girl. And you got that F athletic body, girl. You should be uh I ain't going to say hook up with Sheree because we know that one come in fruition. But you need to get you a, um, what you call it, uh athletic wear line. I don't know if it's going to be that way with iFit or you just, you know, doing the exercise program to help people stay in shape as well as lose weight. And they can watch you and, and you know, come on down in the size or whether you're trying to help them build muscle and tone uh toning up the body that, it was a good thing i, I mean we should have shot you should have showed us a little bit more but i know you know time is a, a factor when you're taping and producing and other people paying you to come and you just got to work into their uh area what they want to see so i I get it got a good girl but i just want to say you know hands up to you it seemed like it was a good presentation for what little we saw of it uh but you're fit yep you're fit and uh I think that's about it. I need to get back to Drew. But she was referring to Eric getting up, expressing his opinion like his wife, meaning Sonya, could say whatever she wanted to say and it's okay. It's, it's okay. But 
it's a difference <laughs> when Kenya, Sheree, or Drew say something. You got he had to go all willy nilly and, and jump up and say, uh, you know what he did say, which was very, very, very inappropriate. And I was, uh, uh, uh I was kind of like, uh, Heath, you ain't gonna say that to him. Todd, you ain't gonna say anything. Hell, we know Ralph ain't gonna say shit, cause he he just shits down when women get on his ass, especially when Kenya got on his ass one be once before. He didn't know what to say, so Ralph did the right thing. Don't 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 do anything. But if Heath or Todd would have said something, maybe if he would have jumped or something, they would have said, "Hold up, hold up, man." And, you know, that's a woman. You know, maybe they would have did something. I had high hopes for Todd and he, but you know, I, it seemed like they were some controlling the situation. So. I was okay with that. Good thing, Todd. Good thing. I'm, I'm becoming to like you now. I'm, I might be fair, a fair weather friend to you, too. Uh, don't count on me, because I get you. Yeah, I sure will come back on you and Candy uh, and, and tell, it, tell it how I want us to tell it. You know what I'm saying? Or what I felt about the perception of which I was putting out there. But right now, I'm a fair weather friend with Candy, and I think I'm going to be a fair weather friend with you, son. I, I really do. You've been impressing me these last two episodes. Todd Tucker is what I'm talking about. Over here, we call him Tiny Tim Todd Tucker, LLC. But it's all jokes, Todd. It's all jokes, baby. But uh, let me see. Um, Then we got Drew. Drew feel, feeling like a princess. Because I don't know why they would make... I hate them things. The cobblestones. You know, the little circle rocks that you embed into the concrete. And it's pretty, but it, it's, it hurts your feet, child. And they were trying to roll Drew... And the wheelchair, or her little uh, galaxy stroller, however she want to put it. They had to lift her up all four men. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's, it's, it's Aaron, then Ralph, then Heath, then uh, Todd. Well, I guess that's all the men. So they had picked her up on both sides, and they held her up like a princess, like she was, you know, walking through a parade or something and waving her hands. It was cute, and I thought that was very nice of the men. Their moms taught them well, and they are showing and out, showing out and improving, okay? But, oh, Candy had to say some shit about them. Drew, you got all the men. I'm like, Candy, Candy, girl, we don't want to hear that, okay? Kind of, kind of seemed like he was a little jealous, even though I know you would. But you've been talking a lot lately, especially on this episode. So, I mean, I mean, well, the last three episodes, you've been talking a lot, fussing a lot, and showing us your other side that you don't really like to come out, but it does come out. And like I said, the only person that can handle you is, is Todd and uh, Tiny Harris Cotel, okay? A uh, Tiny Cotel Harris, how you want to see her? She's the only one, as far as a woman, that can get you straight. Yes, Lord. I mean, but you can't. I kind of like it now because... We never seen the side of you, and we don't expect, at least I don't expect, and I, my family probably don't expect you to get down in the gutter every time, you know. But if they come looking for you, then you have to knock on their door and say, Here I am. Here I am. What you want? You don't want this. You know, that type of thing, okay? Let them come find you, and then you answer, okay? And they don't, you know, they can't get mad how you answer back to their asses, okay? That's just like Kenya. You come for her. You know, which Sonya miserably did this season. You're going to get hurt. You're going to get embarrassed. And it's all your fault. Because you got to know how to pick and choose your battles with Kenya. And when she said your attitude was in the toilet, I thought I would fall out on the floor. I said, and here we go. <laughs> and then and, and Sonya's not prepared. She ain't prepared, y'all. She ain't lock loaded. And she ain't got no extra bullets to spray, Okay. Oh, she just had a, a her holster and a gun that was empty. I was like, uh, uh no, ma'am, no, Lord, no, God, you should have checked. That's why I understand that people want to come on the Real Housewives of Atlanta shit show, and you know you're gonna have to act some type of how do you call it haughtiness and and ratchetness. You get you got to bring those two ingredients, and it has to be well documented of how it's gonna flow. You say even if you have to practice with other people. But see, when you can get somebody straight, how I call it, getting them together, y'all call it a good read, it, it just it happens naturally. It's not something that you can, like, read and, and study. You It just comes off of emotions and what you're feeling at the time. And whatever comes in your head will pop out your mouth. And sometimes it, it goes south, and sometimes it be right on target, you know, right up there where it needs to be. Like I say, 
if, if, if it makes you feel some kind of way, then it hits you. Okay, we were talking about you. And if it didn't hit you, just let it fly over your head. If it ain't you who we talking about, let the bullet spray. Because you're going to know who be doing all the extra talking, who got hit with the bullet, okay? But uh, let me see. Okay, and that was it, okay? And so Drew, let the ladies get on. Oh, okay, and Drew did something very nice, very unselfish. Um, since she had to come with her scooter, a wheelchair, uh apparel she had to be sporting around because she tripped over her own two feet uh asked me how she did it i do not know I'm like girl you can't chew walk at the same time <sighs> but anyway she said no nah, let the other people get on let other women get on first i don't want to hold nobody up i thought that was very admirable and very hospitable drew so we know you gotta look good in you even though you don't like to show it here and there but it just is what it is and um i like that how he's you know, uh, Ralph got her off of uh, the wheelchair, and she went up like one step. And he was just like, I know, him mama raised him right. He went and picked up Drew and just took her up those other two and three steps and planted her. And so, okay, and then she said, thank you, Heath. He said, no problem. <laughs> so I'm like, now, see, I, I would like a white man like that. You know what I'm saying? Just from what I'm saying now, I ain't calculating. I don't, don't even know what the man do, okay? And if my yada don't get her shit together, I ain't going to never know what he do. Because it's always she's going to always be a friend of the show instead of capturing her a peach. But, you know, Candy kind of felt salty about my yada. You talking to uh, Marlo and trying to hear her side of the story. I watched her speak on it, and she was speaking on it. She was speaking on it. Yes, yeah, she was speaking on it, child. And I said, okay, okay, can okay, girl, I see you, I see you, I see you. But um, she liked that, my yard. She said, you should have went hard for her. I'm like, can I think the only person going to go hard for you is Tiny. Tiny will go here, there, oh, through the mountains, through the rivers, through the shorts. Yes, because y'all have that connection. You see what I'm saying? Y'all have a little bit, I believe, more of a friendship of longevity than you do with my yard. But, uh yeah oh hell yeah, you know what Shamir probably got uh marlo together but you know my yellow's new to the game um she thinks she know the women and as sonya miserably felt she thought she knew the women too and look how she's looking at the end of the show like a nut okay like a a circus clown i should say a circus clown but you know like i said um Hopefully, they'll give her another season. I don't want them to do her like they did uh, Shamari. Uh, they just let her come on. And Kim, well, Kim feels in there. I don't even know why she came on the show. She got too much class, too much acting ability to. Maybe she just needed some money. Maybe she just needed some, another extra check to fix something or go somewhere. And, you know, yeah, okay, we're going to put it like that. But, you no, know, Kim was not a good fit. She's a true actress, and she's just a, 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 a loving um mother and, and and wife and, and she loves the community and she loves people she loves in, uh like producing for people and making things come alive on camera so no nah, i don't know maybe she was drunk when she took the assignment <laughs> when they came and approached her agent about her doing this and maybe it was just something she wanted to do like a little bucket list or something well you know because you know everybody know about the real housewives of atlanta if they don't know anything about the other housewives franchise they will know because it's ratchetness and it's a lot of fighting, it's a lot of cussing, and see that's what they made the Real Housewives of Atlanta have come to. Now, you, Kenya got class, we know Candy got class too. Um, we had Cynthia on here that had class, and, and you know she was like the mother archy. Well, not a really necessarily a mother, because she she yeah, she didn't want to be called an auntie, but you know it just is what it is. Those who are true to their age they don't have to lie about it you know even though i think in hollywood you really have to lie about it to get jobs but you know makeup do a, a wonderful uh a wonders that it does wonders when you're trying to get a um a older role or you're trying to get a younger role they know how to make you look young honey yes they do yes they do but anyway I, i'm tearing i i can't tear it too long now uh, we don't want the video to be uh an hour okay we really don't but we we got all key keys and laughs off this video for real uh but okay let me see so that was nice of what drew had did and they said why were you being filmed uh and yeah and i was trying to figure out you know 
they didn't have really in too much. But I guess like it is, it's a known thing that if you don't tape, you don't get paid. So I can see why um, Drew had to do what she had to do, even though she was in pain. Uh, my foot was swollen just like uh, Drew's was. She keep hurting herself like that, just tripping on her feet. She's going to be wearing compression socks as well because her, her feet is out. You know, it's like the fluid is going to go all the way down to the bottom like mine because the veins are... Uh, I don't know. Well, I forgot what they said about my veins, but it's, it wasn't looking good. But they don't have to have surgery now. Uh, so the top of my veins and my legs are very good. They're still working in, in, in perfect order. But it's just the bottom part, they were saying. It could come from my weight and age and me having high blood pressure and stuff of that nature. So I get it got it good. But Drew, you need to wash that now, baby. Walk and look. If you have to look down sometimes, you know. Because you, you were just a hot mess when you did that to yourself. Now you don't injure both of your, your legs. But we'll keep you in prayer, Drew. We'll keep you in prayer. Okay, we're going to move on to Manyata. Man, Manyata. Manyata and Heath, okay? Okay, Manyata, why are you sitting right by Marlo and letting her fill your head up with a bunch of nonsense? Manyata, she don't like candy now. Why, why are you uh, sitting over there letting her give you that um uh, violin we got that violin string uh, uh woe is me woe is me take a look honey woe is me look you know what i'm saying what candy doing and shit to her now nah, candy ain't doing nothing that's you trying to play your role okay like we're all trying to look to see why um marlo took this stance of coming on so aggressively now it's cool to come over aggressively but don't 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 no don't go past some borders that you know are up there for you not to cross you know but she was doing everything and anything but hopefully she can take some good feedback for next uh season and she could i ain't gonna say they're gonna like her and all like that but just try not to you know uh get in too many arguments you know what i'm saying because some people you know you hit a little bit too uh below the belt now they're gonna probably saying they don't trust you um they're going to um nobody's going to want to film with you when it comes to being something like that then they start looking at you and then you're going to be out the door marlo okay so uh i i you know i give you a reprieve this time because you know this is your first time it ain't your first time to the rodeo but it is your first time being uh an accomplished peach holder so um we had high hopes for you but you on our shit well you on my shit list okay you on my shit list and you got to reprieve yourself because right now i don't even want you to come back for season two but you know like i said you got to learn you got to take them baby steps you got to cry before you can walk and uh you know you this is your first year holding a piece so we hope they give you another one another chance uh, another time for you to come and correct yourself because you were really foul you really foul this year talking about people's kids now that, that, you know if you ain't gonna say nothing good don't say nothing at all you know what i'm saying because you 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 got so bad and so mad with candy you talking about you gonna talk about ace and and and, and baby blaze i like no you didn't no i i, I know you weren't trying to go there because i think candy would take an assault charge when it comes to her two babies yeah everybody would you know what i'm saying i mean what it ain't really too much you can say because candy and the gang got that shit handled when it comes to her her children when she's away her and todd they, they got good people um they don't vet it them people that be around their children you know what i'm saying and what i mean by vetting i mean investigate research on whoever you got uh taking care of your kids okay because they're going to take on some of their personality especially if they spend a lot of time with that particular person so hopefully you got good keep people uh, around your kids todd and candy and you can you know it's just like you leaving with your mama you like you be out there having fun partying you forget you have children <laughs> and then when you come home your mama get on your ass about why you didn't come on in a decent time why you took this long to come get these kids these your kids ain't my kids they're my grandkids meaning i come get them and i'll be with them when i want to when i don't set my mind up to be like uh we call it tormented or, or they're just i'm gonna have to have this extra energy because these kids gonna run help they gonna run me crazy you know what i'm saying so and especially baby blade look like she gets getting around all over that house now honey she she finding herself and she feeling herself you know what i'm saying just toddling around I mean, it's so cute so cute but uh, okay uh she gonna be like candy she's gonna want to eat all the time i can see it i can see it and she's gonna be curious like candy and, and i don't know i guess baby blazer have a phone 
when she probably turned six or seven. Yeah, but, but these days and times, you need to teach your kid real, uh, real soon about using the phone and how to call nine one one. You know, because there's so much going on in the world. Uh, so they need that peace of mind to have a, a phone on them when they are out and about when they get a little older. Okay, let me see. Uh, Okay, my yard Okay. Okay. And then we got um let me see. I said I love Heath while Marlo is trying to film okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 Heath and uh Todd, but Heath from the from the inception of him coming on, I like brother man Heath. He, he I think he was raised by somebody black. Maybe he got some black in his family. He just seems so hospitable, you know what I'm saying? Southern. But anyway, just uh going back from there, we got um Mayara, um, yeah, baby, um, you see how Heath, your husband, saw some bullshit finna come down the line? That's why he left, okay? He didn't want to hear no shit about Marlo talking about whatever female, whatever male. He want to hear for the shit, you see what I'm saying? And see, so you could have caught his hint and bounced your ass right on with him. Just said, oh, I got to go tell Candy something. No, you ain't have to tell Candy now. You just didn't want to hear the bullshit. But you sitting up there trying to play, uh, I don't know if it's devil advocate or you really wanted to see what she was working with so you can go back and tell Candy. But, you know, you kind of looked a little foul, man, because, you know, when you when you hang with Candy, Candy expect for her uh, friends to hold her down. You know what I'm saying? Somebody talking shit about her, she really feels you need to be, you know, uh, saying, don't talk about my friend like that. You t say one more word, you're going to get slapped in the face. Uh, I ain't about that. Don't, don't, don't bring this shit around. You know, that's what Candy won't. Now, you know, with you being a more seasoned woman, I, I think you're a little older than Candy, maybe. And if you have, how you handled, um, what's his name? Neo, your, your boyfriend, fiance, or whatever. I know you had to get some money from that girl. Candy wouldn't hell. I would have been silent. If he kind of tricked me in my mind, thinking we were going to be together, and he made me get that, uh, or he suggests, because he didn't want any more children. He suggests you get, you know, uh, um, what is it, tubes tied or burnt out? Well, you, you can't, with the situation, you can't handle mature. But between Heath and you, y'all don't need no more. Y'all already got the Brady Bunch all like that. I seen it. Uh, ooh, too many kids, and they and they look like they're going in their teenage years. And uh, ooh, I'm gonna, pray, I'm gonna keep you in prayer too, my y'all. I'm gonna keep you in prayer, girl. I'm gonna keep you in prayer. Okay, uh, but anyway, Heath slides on out of there. He said, let me go see what Todd doing. What, 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 what the folks are doing over there in the VIP? So I was like, that's right. Get your ass on up. Don't say shit. Just keep walking. And then, see, he, he, he understand the assignment. Now, we can only get Aaron to understand the assignment. We will be great. We will be great. Because right now, he in the shit. He, he's in the shit shed right now. Don't want to see him. Don't want to say anything. You know, just go press go, and we going on to the reunion. Cause I don't need him to say shit else, cause he don't show it up and show it out, and it's for the negative. Okay, but then let me see. Uh, hmm. Okay, it says my y'all, you should. Yeah, okay, we went over that. She shouldn't have been co-signing with Marlo, trying to make sure Marlo understood the situation, and you know, trying to make her feel like you know, well, you did this now, and then you know, she said, well, yeah, Candy did that. No, no. no. No, no, we listen if we have to be in that situation, but we don't say shit unless we're saying, well, I, I don't know. I don't know how it went bad. It seemed like a bad situation. Maybe Ken had to deal with it the way she had to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? That's how you, that's how you do it, girl. You got to learn to stay neutral. Be like Switzerland. They neutral. They ain't got time for no shit. You know, from, from other countries. No. Okay, so... We gonna need you to learn the game because it's a it's a game. It's like chess when you're playing with the Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? And uh, how we don't solidify Ken? She's the uh, the queen up there. So when you're moving the pawns around the board, just know you need to come locked, loaded, and ready to spray. And you want to get a big bang for your buck because you come with some weak shit. Kenya is going to twirl like a tornado and tear your ass up okay so you learned you've learned so hopefully you will you know succeed and do well hopefully in season two if you get there uh marlo okay let me see and you get there sonya too i mean uh my yada let's see my yada you know for a fact that there's no oh, okay you know uh marlo and candy ain't got no, no friendship girl what the hell are you talking about uh, but I, I mean, you're trying to see it for him, but it's, it's not. It's no, it's not going to be a doable situation. Okay, 
uh, because Marlo is really, really, really jealous of uh, shit everybody on this show, to tell you the truth, but she really upset about Candy and Sheree. Uh, why they got so much pool, why there's so many people like them, this, that, and the third. And we don't want to hear about it anymore. So we're going to go to Sheree, Bone Collector. Uh, why are you talking about dinner table and your confessionals? Because you damn sure is saying, oh, okay, yeah. Sheree, you were talking out the side of your neck. You making all these opinions or suggestions in your confessionals, and they ain't really worth shit. They ain't really, bur they ain't really worth nothing. Okay, uh, why are you talking about team about your wares for the fashion show? Did you? Oh yeah, you were talking about the little lady on the phone trying to get your little stuff together. I'm like, no, ma'am, no sir, no lord, no God, Sheree. What the heck are you doing? We don't want to hear about no. Tell me the venue had to be changed, so you had to change the date because somebody had, I guess, outbidded you uh, for an, uh, for the event spot you want to hold. Now you got to choose another. Then you talking about later on the phone talking about you know all your patterns didn't come in. I'm like, uh, uh see, we don't need all this. We we don't we don't need all this. We need to have fashions. If we're not gonna have fashions, we don't need Sheree. Okay, uh, let me see. Let me see, Shrey, but we don't care about any. Yeah, she talking about she was having some snap, snap foods. And I'm like, no, 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 we don't want to hear about, we don't. Mm -mm. And she's talking about the uh, fashion show is in three weeks. I'm like, honey, you done had 14 years to prepare for this shit. And I don't want to talk about it no more because, mm -mm, nope, don't want to do it. Cause I'm like, you should all have already had uh, your event space locked down. You should already had your models on deck. You know, you're supposed to have the DJ on deck. Uh, you're supposed to have locked down your food and alcohol that you're going to serve to the folks that came out to see your fashion show. You know, you should have your thank you cards, you know, for the people that came or, or, or designers that were uh, well known. You know, give them a little treat basket or whatever. Uh, mm -mm. Sure, you ain't have shit together. You ain't have shit together. Oh, man, we, just, we really just don't want to hear about it. We really don't. We really don't. Okay, and then let me see. Sure, sure. Okay, sure. I finally get to talk to Sonya. Uh, but damn, you went to Sonya's event, but you missed the whole damn thing. And then you're trying to get Sonya uh, to get Sonya to talk about it. So you can have something to talk about when you go back uh, to the people that didn't get a chance to go, like Sheree. And, you know, uh, we going to mention Marlo, Marlo. Well, I mean, Kenya. Uh, so that was piss poor. That was really piss poor that you were pumping that girl out for information. So you could make, like, you were there for the whole entire uh, I fit um, what do you call it um, scene that she was doing for that day knowing your ass just showed up then you're going to blame it on the man that bought you I'm like uh uh go, go. sign you go check with the man and see was that actually the truth that he did get lost or was he on time Sheree just wasn't okay uh, let me see mm -mm -mm. oh and Sheree was telling um Sonya that it's going to be an issue because you invited her but you didn't invite Kenya and all this stuff I'm like she said she knows she'll handle it at the, you know at dinner or whatever, whatever. Uh, but we know Sonya got her ass handed back to her when she was trying to come for Kenya um, let's see oh and then Sheree was telling uh, Sonya you know Sheree has I'm uh, not uh, Sonya Sheree was telling Sonya that Kenya has a way of you know not um dealing with stuff and when she comes for you you got to shut her down I'm like uh, what the hell are you what kind of advice are you giving son you want her to get murdered girl you want her to get murdered because can you ain't gonna care about nobody when you come when you come for her she's really gonna come hard so you, you really don't love uh son you know do you? you don't because you, you you're pushing her up with the tornado now you know she tears up shit before get on her nerve and have them looking like shit when she finished with them. <sighs> Sheree, 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 Sheree. Okay, but she pretty much told um, Sonya that you got to shut Kenya down before she gets off and wants to twirl on your ass. If you cut her off real quick, then she ain't got uh, nothing to say or do and you'll be victorious. But ain't nobody been victorious uh, shutting Kenya down to this point. I mean, Nene tried. She was a good adversary, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only person that really could could match Kenya's uh, wit and, and take it a little further, other than actually putting your hands on somebody. So that, that was a good show, good show. Um, okay, I think that was it by Sheree. 
Oh, but she did say Sonya apologized to her. And, of course, um, Kenya is looking for Sonya to pretty much apologize to her. But she, that shit ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. Okay, we got Candy and Todd. And, you know, we, we got to just hit Candy on, on the arm, on, on the, on the uh, forehead, or, you know, on the hands. Because... Can, um, Candy really did insert herself into an argument that was going between Drew, not Drew, but Ralph and um, Marlo. Now, anybody should have um, jumped in and said anything, it should have been Drew. Uh, just, you know, disabling uh, Marlo from talking shit about stuff she really didn't know about, but since she's a foster child, and this, that, and the third just is going to be what it is. But technically, no, Candace shouldn't have been there. But she was trying to get her moment in. And she wanted to be spectacular. And, she, hell, she done came up with a whole damn shirt called, Bitch, I'm worldwide. I'm like, okay, Candy, go. I mean, you got all the accessories and everything. And she ain't got shit. Okay, I'm just, uh, <laughs> But anyway, uh, let's see, Candy, why are you, uh, Comparing hostess truck, okay, yeah. Then again, you know, Candy like her food, and I told uh, Candy she gonna have to, you know, how you call it? She's gonna have to have her a uh, doggy bag. You know what I'm saying? Or a, 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 a what do you call it? A, a food bag, so she won't get so uh, angry, because Candy gets angry, a uh, hangry when she's hungry, and, and she shouldn't do that. Just pick pack you a little bag that has little treats in there uh that's gonna tie you over till you can get to some real food but um uh, they had a scene where candy was comparing kenya's function that she had in south carolina as a girl's trip to sonya's uh situation that she had in jamaica and of course you know candy gonna go with the food how it tasted and was it plentiful and of course you know she went with uh Sonya, Sonya did kill that, uh, you know, that hospitality she was trying to show in her, her native country, okay? Um, let me see, we were, uh -huh. okay, okay, uh, Candy, we were just a little bit jealous of all the men, okay, y'all, we, we handled that one, why are you tripping at Sonya put Marlo in charge, yeah, Candy, why, you know, we, we know you ain't give a shit for, uh, Marlo hospitality or that lack of, um, uh, but uh you were doing too much can you should just listen you didn't have to look at her but you could listen and when she was telling y'all all to get up and come on the bus you ain't have to sit there you didn't have to sit down and then can you sitting up there running away from the bus i mean running away while she was talking to her she had to give her some water i mean can you that was just piss poor you, i mean you were doing too much and candy you were doing too much too okay it's okay to be petty but damn, y'all gotta be petty bed on the whole damn trip because Marlo down. Come on, I need y'all to mature. I need y'all to mature. But uh, it just is what it is. Okay, Todd tried to get Ralph to come on. <laughs> that damn Todd. He ain't shit. He just sat up there telling, um, uh, what's it not? Ralph to come on. <laughs> Lee and Drew. Drew could be, she'll be fine. Just let her have her, um, you know, have somebody come check on her. You know, one of the hospitality people to see if she needed anything. But, you, you know, you could have came out of play. Like, Todd, you ain't no damn good. No, he was not going to leave his wife. He needed to work. Uh, he needed to work for her um, that little time they were left in Jamaica. Because, she, you know, she had sprung her foot. foot it swirled up like a big-ass balloon. So, no, he didn't want anything. Uh, and he, hell, he didn't like he was having fun anyway. So, he, that's all he needed to do. So, Todd, stop your mess, Okay. Then we got Todd and Candy. Well, at uh, first they was uh, under this tree that they had the um, the food and the table. They was, I guess they were trying to keep them in shade. But they didn't know that a lot of birds come around there. And the birds wanted to release themselves. Meaning piss or shit or whatever. And it was coming down on the table as well as some of the guests. And Candy had to tell her husband, Todd, it did get on you. Get that shit off you. <laughs> but Candy was holding her plate. You see what I'm saying? She's like, I'm going to get up, but I'm hungry. I don't know when production feel like they're going to feed us. They'll be working us like slaves running around here. Won't feed us, and I'll be hangry. You know, I'm like, don't get Candy to be hangry. Woo. So she she picked her plate up and moved. I'm like, see, she just like my daughter. 
Stomach over everything. Stomach is over everything. Okay, you ain't gonna work right if you on low fuse, a low film, uh, films, films of the food category. You ain't gonna act right until you get fed. And that's pretty much what um Candy was just trying to tell them. Wasn't no shit in her plate. She wasn't eating no shit. She was eating food, and she was enjoying each and every bit of it. And then we had uh them come out from that area, and um um. What's her name? My yellow head came over there to sit with um, Marlo. And she was saying, oh, Candy let her out. Whew. I said, no, nah, she didn't let her out, Marlo. The, the woman came by herself. She came out on her own accord. She already started shit. But anyway, Todd came out and uh, Marlo was saying, yes, come on out. Come on, be by the pool and stuff. And he told Marlo, hey, that's where the general general admission people sit. I'm by VIP. I'm finna go over here in my bungalow. <laughs> get her ass get her ass see that's shade right now like y'all any kind of people y'all everyday people i'm vip i'm finna go over there and hang out in the bungalow so i can appreciate that todd you did that one boy you did that one okay then we got candy sheree is not hold on a minute candy sheree is not different oh okay oh i was saying that you know sheree been talking about candy still behind her back and uh, I'm pretty sure Candy done saw it at this point. And she knows she ain't got no friend in Sheree. She need to cut that ties real quick, fast, in a hurry. Okay, okay. let me see what we got here. Uh, Sheree, let me see. Well, okay, we're doing a little profile on Marlo. Okay, we were talking about that dinner table that was going on. And Sheree and Kenya was going hard on Sonya about why she didn't you know tell them about this that and the third why she didn't want them to come to certain events that she had why she gonna invite and then take that uh invite away and you know marlo was in the background about uh she was saying y'all stop attacking her um leave her alone um what one of y'all need to talk at one time and see that when aaron had got up and tried to uh, insert himself into some women's shit and we wanted to say sit your two dollar five ass ass women two dollar or five ass down okay follow five dollar ass down however you want to keep it you can be two or you can be five it doesn't matter okay but you need to sit your ass down okay because if, if your wife all that pop 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 and all that and she speaks this whole different language she should have been easily gathered Kenya together and Kenya been looking like a fool instead of your wife turning around looking like a fool. Talking about, uh, you know, all thing you saw was your wife drowning and you're going to, uh, you're going to keep her from drowning if you have to drown all the time. I said, boy, boy, that shit don't even sound right. You're going to talk about you going to drown. Really? How you going to drown, baby? How you going to drown and then save somebody? That's impossible. So sit your ass down. Sit your two dollar ass down, okay? I don't want to hear nothing from you. And then they gave you some time to talk in confessionals, and you was explaining that shit, and it wasn't even it, it wasn't even popping with nobody. I'm still looking at you like, let me hit you upside your head, cause you done damn lost your brain trying to sit up here and argue with women, full fledged all day every day women, okay? <sighs> Did your mama not teach you nothing, Aaron? Did your mama not teach you anything, or you just had your daddy? ways and you trying to insert them that's why she see, see i actually now i can see why son you don't want to have no more children i do i do i see it other people might not see it, but i damn sure see it you you got some issues but anyway move her from there um let me see oh when that situation had erupted he didn't want to talk no more. So Sonya had to go check on a man and they talked and she was like, I, you know, I, I expect that from King, but uh, Sheree really fooled me and stuff. And, you know, he still, you know, I'm like, man, dude, you, you getting mad over two women trying to come at your wife. And this is something they do. Did you not read the manual of how the housewives get down, Aaron? Did you not read the guidelines, the bylaws, all that shit? Oh, but anyway, let me see. Um, okay, why do you think of Marlo? Oh, and then uh, that was cute that Sonya had said she thought Marlo, her, and Sheree was the three musketeers. <laughs> like, girl, you're on the wrong team. You Now, that is a, 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 what do you call it? A sinking boat, okay? That is a sick, uh, a very short-lived sinking boat. 
you're looking at a person that just got a peach. And then you're looking at a person that gets tossed around on Real Housewives of Atlanta, here, there, everywhere. She don't, she's not really a solidified, long-standing uh, person uh, or, or, you know, a person to be on the show as a peach holder. We're talking about Sheree. So I'm like, no, nah, you couldn't have uh, really did your homework on the Real Housewives of Atlanta because the two that you were trying to, uh, you know, be three musketeers with, mm -mm, no, ma'am. You would have been a nice fit for Candace and, and Kenya's group because Cynthia had left. But see, you they'll probably recruit Drew before they get you uh, sign you because you really fucked up. You really did. You really did by siding with them two clowns. Okay, and then we got off them. <laughs> okay, and I was just talking about the aggressiveness that um, Aaron had did, and that was just unforgivable. Well, I mean, we could forgive him, but it's unforgettable, I guess I should say. So, I always got to have your guards up when Ralph, I mean, uh, Aaron is around. Because you might have to get him together real quick, fast, in a hurry. Um, okay, let me see. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Um... Oh, okay. Um, then... Uh, what do you call it? Well, name? Sonya was trying to play, you know, big woman on the block. You know, trying to say, uh, what's up, Kenya? What's up, girl? Like, she gonna do anything. <laughs> Kenya said, uh-uh. Kenya told her her attitude was in the toilet. And then that's when Sonya kind of got riled up. Trying to see, that's what I'm saying. You be doing all this sl uh, slick side talking to me. And I, you be just be disrespecting me. And I, I don't like that, Kenya. And then, she, girl, she said something about articulation. Where is this shit? We might as well get off Sonya because Sonya's just, just crazy. She went for the wrong thing. But we got Kenya, honey. Kenya had told her. Where the part where she said she articulate? She is unarticulate. <laughs> I said, is that a word? Shit. Or did Kenya just make that up on the spot? Oh, yeah. She said you are inarticulate in explaining yourself. So basically what Kenya was telling uh, you... Sonya was that you was a child. You 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 couldn't form your words correctly. You couldn't put the verbs and the nouns together for them to be a complete sentence. Girl, she was playing school time on your ass, and you didn't even know. And then she said, "I don't understand all this abstract uh, thinking." Wait a minute. <laughs> what women abstract thought working in a room? Uh, see, when Kenya said that to you about the, uh, she don't work in the realm of abstract thinking you should have said your mama <laughs> that would have been the first go to and then if that didn't play off you could say you can you can uh, keep your abstract thinking hell I'm not talking about art I ain't trying to paint no picture and see that would have hit Kenya back because she would have known you knew what the word abstract mean you see what I'm saying that's what you should and I gave you two ways to have done it but you didn't think about either one. I guess you got to have a Webster dictionary, uh, you know, next time so you can look the shit up and then do the compare, contrast and comparing, okay? But you could have said your mama. That's always a, a good standby. Or you could have said, I'm not trying to paint a picture, okay? We're not talking about art at this time. We're talking about this, that, and the third. And you really went too far, too far. But uh, Kenya was like, I would apologize to you. For that and I told you we need to move on okay and she was like you both agree she said you agree to it she said I know it's just okay at this point what else do you have that's new that I've been uh getting on your nerves about and then they had Sonya you know holding her head like uh the, hold on let me think about it. no baby no when you at Kenya's door you better come with it you once she say something you should be saying something back Say, once you move, I move too. Once you move, I move four. You know what I'm saying? You got to always stay with her. Like you playing tennis. You serve the ball, the person serve it back to you. It just be one volley after volley after volley after volley. So you, one of y'all get tired, and y'all going to want to do a real play that the other person wouldn't expect it, and then you get, you know, a point there. But, uh, nah, can you tow your ass up? I would be shamed. I would like, let me put my face down and pick my face back up put it on me because that's pretty much what she did girl she she tore your ass up she was gone with the wind fabulous honey on your ass i'm like oh shit she had shook sonya in just those few minutes <laughs> i was like god damn and see 
your husband was trying to take up for you, and both of y'all look like two fools. Okay, I'm like uh uh-uh. uh, because they were still chitter chatter chatting. So that's one thing about women: we could chit chat, chit chat, chit chat, and, and it, we go uh, a whole day with doing, it and then pick it up from from last night into the new day. But when, men, they, they they can't they can't think that they they're not even that kind of uh what do you call it? <laughs> <laughs> they can't keep up with women. That's why we're two different uh, individuals. Uh, y'all got testosterone and we got estrogen. And we got so much estrogen, we make y'all sick. Well, y'all can't say anything. But keep it moving or go take a nap somewhere. Hell, go hang out with your guy friends. Because uh, we do be running it in the ground. Uh, let me see what this text from said. Why did we tell Sonia you were going to speak and she got on? Oh, yeah. And then King had said... Um, which was a little bit aggressive and which was a little bit dismissive, Kanga. You didn't have to tell that girl, you gonna, she, I'm gonna talk and you're gonna listen. That that was a little, that was like when you talking to a child, Kanga. But I guess you had signed her up as a child and you had treated her that far, that way. Um, let me see, stop worrying about something calling you. Uh, then, okay, Kanga, you were really wrong. You didn't have to worry about that lady not calling you shit. Uh, if you know you had dead wrong, your ass was on the beach. You and Sheree both when y'all was supposed to be in that on that bus going to, to see her at her event. Then can you the first damn event y'all had to go out to, you kept saying, I'm coming down, I'm coming down. They got tired, they left your ass. Then you gonna show up two hours later. Girl, uh uh-uh. uh see all this shit's so caught on tape. They have you time stamped or what time it was and where you were, girl. So, you know, you were you were acting foul. You were acting foul. And uh, it w- they were okay to call you on that shit, but Sonya should have did a little bit more better. If she did her research on you, she probably would have had you, but you came out smelling like a rose, as usual. Uh, since I'm trying to get the entire table to... Okay, no, man. Can't get to who we were wrong. Okay, yeah, okay, we got that one. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. You can't force on to give you. Oh, y'all, can you can't make that girl give you no apology. She don't want to. Hell, there's plenty of people that haven't given you an apology, and you have moved on. You have moved on. You had people wanting to spit on you, but yet you moved on. So you need to move on, can you, when it comes to messing with, um, uh, what's her name? Hmm, Sonya, because Sonya ain't got all the, the cards. She's, uh, missing a few cards to have you basically trying to handle her so it wasn't a fair fight she wasn't ready she wasn't prepared but hopefully she get another uh season season uh 15 and she get to prove herself again but um uh, she could be a formidable a- adversary she can but she got to learn how to play the game uh let me see then you sit over there calling marlo a wannabe irrelevant clout chasing pedestrian <laughs> And charge you like you some kind of kid. And you like you left this uneducated, unskilled woman to watch over me? No ma'am, no sir the Lord, I can't have it and I won't accept it. Oh, okay, it was a hot mess. A hot mess. Oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> then at the end this helpful gonna say I really believe, you know, I, I love women who are articulate, who are smart, and uh, who are accomplished. And Sonya, you fall right in. <laughs> now, she would gaslighting your ass right now, uh, Sonya, if you didn't. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. That damn give you. <laughs> that my kids back on the show. <laughs> Who child she be knowing who got college degrees, who got that uh simple GED, <laughs> and who got high school diploma? Who she be wearing y'all asses out? But I was like, I was that was, that was too funny. That was too, that was too funny. Who can okay, took y'all asses back to school? Okay, she had took y'all back to school. But that's all I have for this particular episode, guys. Hope y'all liked it, love it, gotta have more, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.